I suppose there's potential. For years, we've primarily grown lettuce in our aquaponics system. Several of our staff wanted us to try something new in the system. So we had many years of strawberry experience, so we decided why not give strawberries a shot. It's been an interesting project, but not without its challenges. As soon as we planted the strawberries, we ran into challenges with pests. We're going to lose everything if we don't get money to control them. Powdery mildew, spider mites, other things that are very common in field settings and also fairly easy to deal with, uh, represented new challenges in aquaponics. So our aquaponics system uh, employs the use of tilapia, uh, which grow in tanks, which uh, provide the nutrition for the plants. The plants in turn uh, pull the nutrients out of the water. Um, this project, we wanted to explore a little bit about strawberries and what kind of media would be best to grow strawberries in an aquaponics system. We tried uh, a couple of different things, some clay pellets, as well as uh, chunked up coconut fiber. Um, we also decided to look at bare root versus plug plants, plants that have soil media around them, to see if there's any difference in how the plants respond and grow and, and produce fruit. We chose Albion because Albion is a day neutral variety, which means it'll continuously bloom. So you can have a prolonged harvest over many, many months as long as the plants stay healthy and are actively growing. So around three weeks into the project, um, we ran into some, some issues. Uh, started noticing powdery mildew on a few of the plants. This is a very common problem, especially in warm, heat environments, and the aquaponics greenhouse is just that. So just into a month uh, after planting, we're starting to see some fruits appear, and they're starting to ripen up. Uh, but we've also seen the appearance of another uh, pest, the spider mite, in pretty high numbers and densities. They feed on the plants directly, they nibble at the, uh, the leaf bases, it starts giving them kind of a bronzing appearance and, and uh, makes the, the plants much less healthy. We're going to pick some strawberries today. Throughout harvest we've seen similar yields of fruit uh, in both of our media treatments. Uh, the clay versus coconut didn't seem to matter much. Where we are seeing a difference is our bare root plants uh, develop longer roots. We've seen better nutrient uptake in the form of uh, higher nitrogen levels in the leaves. And there are fewer coals or poor quality fruits uh, versus those that had soil plugs remaining. Oh, there's the, the first ones. Wow. Mmm. Ah, really good. We're now running into disease issues as well as insect issues. And then what we come into are typical methods for treating either a disease issue or insect issue. We cannot use in an aquaponic system because a lot of the chemicals or products we would use to combat those issues are toxic to fish. Uh, we were able to find a solution for the battery mildew. We found a compound that's uh, based on hydrogen peroxide that is labeled for aquaponics. So we were able to make an application of that and it uh, very much cleared up the issue. So for the spider mites, they presented a more, uh, more of a hardy challenge. Uh, we ordered some predatory mites. These are biocontrol agents that uh, help to help by feeding on the mites that are actually the problem. Um, they were able to do at least some, some remediation. Uh, by the time we got them in there, there our uh, pest mite populations were already pretty high though. What started out as a simple demonstration to see if we could grow something different has actually left us with many more questions. I did not expect the strawberry plants to survive under the growing conditions. But to my surprise, they did survive. So there is potential moving forward. So this gives us the exciting opportunity to uh, begin new research and expand our collaborations um, in investigating different methods of pest management uh, in order to make aquaponic systems and production a bit more sustainable.